Hello, and welcome to Campus 2 Community, the Columbia Basin College news magazine to keep you informed of what's happening at CBC and how we might better serve you. Today we'll be visiting with Karen Grant, professor of chemistry at Columbia Basin College, to talk about CBC as a research institute, something you rarely see in a community college. And we'll be visiting with a couple of her students, Eric Brist and Michael Zhang, one about to graduate and another a first year running start student, and get their viewpoints on chemistry and chemical research. And finally, we'll be talking with CBC machine technology instructor, Rob Walker, a program that uh, is an old program at CBC, but right now is in great demand. But first, let's talk with Karen Grant. And Karen, welcome to the program. Thank you, Frank. Uh, a lot of people have never heard of CBC as a research institution, but we have a chemistry research program. Tell us about it. Yes, we do, Frank. And it's unusual to have research opportunities at a community college but we have actually had a projects-based chemistry course since 1986 and it has gradually migrated into the kind of project that involves real research and we have done a number of projects for the community involving everything from analysis of components in lavender from some of the lavender farms in the state and in Oregon and analysis of uh, the noble fir needle needles for guyagiline and some other important components and we have uh, a number of other projects going now. And let's talk about one of those projects or, mm -hmm. or the two mm -hmm. of them. Yes, uh, the project that I'm going to mention today is, involves berberine which is a medical alkaloid. Uh, berberine is traditionally obtained from the roots of Oregon grape, a common plant that grows in the Pacific Northwest and they typically have to destroy the plant to get the berberine because it involves grinding up the roots. And a small uh, research group in Oregon that's associated with the forestry department at Oregon State University is interested in finding out if we can get a significant amount of berberine from the stems. And uh, the project's coming along, and, uh, but that's not the only project uh, that your department's working on, is it? No, actually I have 11 students in undergraduate research this year, and we have other projects. One of them is going to involve the analysis of shaster and uh, white fur to check for similarities in the needle oil constituents so that we can compare to the noble fur project oh. we did and the forestry department's very interested in that. Uh, Guy Agiline is a component that is worth about two hundred dollars an ounce. It's wow. an anti-inflammatory uh -huh. and we have other projects involving some plants from American Samoa that have never been investigated and in fact one of the students Lindsay Smith has just found that one of these has a large amount of vanillin in it and typically we get vanillin from uh, an orchid from Madagascar and Mexico and so we're kind of excited about finding that and we also have some plants from the Greek islands that wow. we're analyzing. Fantastic. Um, a lot of people when they think about chemistry think they may not need it for their chosen career because they're not going to be say a chemist. However, there's a lot of professions out there where you need chemistry, right? Absolutely and in fact uh, a number of the students who are in this research class are not chemistry majors. Some of them are biology majors, environmental science majors, uh, pre-med, pre-pharmacy, right. and so forth. And uh, in fact, the natural products itself kind of illustrates how much overlap there is between biology, ecology, medicine, and so forth. And so there is a, a large number of careers everything from all your medical professions mm -hmm. to uh, the general sciences like chemistry, biology, environmental science, and so on that do use chemistry extensively. Fantastic. Karen, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back to speak with Eric Brist and Michael Zhang, our CBC Research Institution students, right after this.